Hey, this is David with the Shepherd School. Last time that we installed a package of bees, I was uh, totally ignorant, right? First time I ever done it, and I think it was more humorous than informative. So much so that when my co-workers found out I was getting some bees today, they basically begged me to do another video. They said they just needed to laugh. So here we are. We've got two three-pound packages of bees that we're going to install in two hives. Um, now, we're going to do a little different today because we're trying to beat the rain. It hailed last night. It's been raining on and off. And so I'm not going to do the typical way of installing a package of bees. Instead, I'm going to actually put the whole box inside the hive in a hive body sitting on top of the typical body with the frames, right? And what that will do is sort of protect the bees from the rain, right? And it should help me maybe with a little bit of absconding uh, with bees getting chilled because they're protected. It's not something you want to do all the time though because it causes more, you have to get in the beehive and get this back out and bees really need a week or two weeks or so after you install the package to get used to their surroundings, okay? so. Here we go, I'm gonna zoom in and we'll show you what we're gonna do. All right, you can probably hear the rain. We're gonna to try to beat it. Here's my package, okay? And it's got a plate here. We're gonna pry this plate off. And then you see two things. You see the top of a jar and you see a, a strip. Okay, this strip is attached to the queen cage and we wanna pry that out so we can get the queen out. Okay. And then we want to get the uh, the sugar jar out too. Okay? All right, now we're gonna lift the sugar jar out. We're gonna take the queen out. And we're just gonna shake her off. All right. And in this uh, cage, you've got the queen and you've got some attendants, right? And then you've got some sugar over here. You've got a cork hole where they put the queen in. You've got another piece of cork, and behind this piece of cork, there's a piece of sugar. So what you'll do is you'll just pry this piece of cork out. Okay, so it's got the sugar. Now the bees can eat their way out, right? And we'll stick the queen in the hive. Then what we'll do, rather than trying to shake all these bees out, right, we'll just sit it down in there and put the lid over, put a brick down. If I had a 10 frame hive, I would put the sugar syrup inside the hive, uh, but I have an eight frame hive and it won't fit, okay? So what I'll do is I'll just stick it out in front, even though that's open feeding and that's really typically not a good idea, right? And then we'll leave this, we'll come back in about a week, 10 days or so, and we'll take out this whole top box and the, um, and the uh, package, right? And hopefully the bees will have um, settled in nicely, okay? So I'm just going to tip this sugar jar up. on the landing board so the bees can get in there and get something to eat even though you know that's going to uh, be open feeding and that's probably not the best idea in the whole world but anyway that ain't the typical way you'd install a package of bees but as you can hear the rain out here it's about the best I can do because I'm about to go back to work and I really just don't have time and, and really no way to, to wait and leave these bees in the package for another you know, four day work week. All right, so here you go. I hope that was useful. Until next time, you can catch us online www.tngun.com.
Dot com.